Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. My name's Nick and this is our review of the Evedict MT Cushion 2 trail running shoe from Decathlon. The MT Cushion 2 is Decathlon's flagship trail running shoe. It costs £90 in the UK or €100 Euros in Europe. It is designed to be an all-rounder trail running shoe that can handle both firm and soft ground. Uh, it weighs in at 307 grams or 10.8 ounces in my UK size 9. And it's got a 4mm drop with a reasonably low stack height of 22mm at the heel and 18mm at the forefoot. The upper has matrix sections around the toe box in particular. Then you've got a padded tongue and heel with a lot of structure around the heel as well to add stability, plus a toe bumper for some added protection. You've got a lace garage at the top of the tongue there that you can tuck your laces in if you, if you like to do that on your runs. You've got an EVA midsole, it's Decathlon's Callan sole material, but it's got improved energy return compared to past versions of the shoe. It's not the most dynamic or exciting foam, but it provides a pretty firm and stable ride on the trails. Then the outsole, you've got these triangular lugs that are almost paired together to create chevrons, um, and they're reasonably deep at five millimeter lugs. They will bite into soft ground quite well, but they're also quite large and flat on top to provide good grip on your harder, wetter surfaces as well. I've been using the MT Cushion 2 in my normal size in the UK, UK size 9, and it's fit me perfectly well. I've got a nice amount of room in the toe box. I've had no problems with the toes hitting the front of the shoe when running down hills or anything like that. Good hold around the midfoot and heel. It's quite a padded uh, heel collar and tongue, but hasn't run too hot for me yet. I mean, it's not been very hot in the UK here, but I have been out on some reasonably hot runs. But yeah, it might end up being a little bit sweaty for some people, but I don't tend to have that problem with shoes. And it's been a good hold, comfortable hold around the heel without overheating at all. So yeah, I've been all good in my normal running shoe size in the MT Cushion 2. So I've run 50k in the uh, Evedict MT Cushion 2 on a nice range of terrains and doing a range of paces as well, but it's worth noting there's nothing mountainous or particularly rocky and jagged around me. Uh, mostly I've been running on forest trails that have been pretty muddy at certain times. It seems to be every time there's a little bit of rain here at the moment, they get very muddy very quickly. So the shoes are in a horrible state, which is why I'm not holding them right now. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of running in the forest, some single track in there, a bit of canal tow path, a lot of road to and from the forest as well. And I've been able to go up and down some pretty steep hills that are quite grassy and muddy, but they're not very long hills, but they are steep and sharp. But yeah, doesn't, they don't go on for miles and miles and miles. All the area around me is much more undulating than particularly uh, treacherous and mountainous uh, in North London. Uh, most of the runs I've done have been at easy paces, just checking out the comfort of the shoe and the feel over some uh, longer distances. And then I have done one fartlek session in them running uh, like three to one minute on uh, with one minute off in between four times to see how they feel at speed to just test their versatility as, a, as an all-round trail shoe and overall I've really enjoyed them I think they are a really good option for someone like myself who actually mostly does easy stuff on the trails the occasional session and most of the time I'm training for road events so I will do track and stuff like that as my main hard workouts but I'm in the trails two or three times a week if I can be and this is a really good shoe for that because it is very versatile in the amount of grip it offers and the comfort it has, the platform is very stable and the price is obviously pretty good as well. Platform of the midsole and the luxury of it is very balanced in lots of ways. Like it just kind of gets out of the way and lets you carry on. There's not particularly squishy or noticeable uh, energy return from the uh, Canon sole midsole there, but you have got a stable base aided by the four millimeter drop that works well on fairly flat ground runnable trails and also on trickier single track stuff or uneven ground. It provides quite a stable platform uh, that you don't really have to worry about ever on the trails, which is a nice feeling. The grip has also been very reliable for me in everything except very deep mud. So. I've been in pretty deep mud in the shoe and it's fine. There was one run when I was going up and down some hills and it was very muddy and basically about halfway up the hill each time I'd get enough mud accumulated on the, on the outsole that it would start to slip a bit on one shoe in particular. This is not really unexpected. Like these five millimeter lugs are pitched as more as all terrain lugs. So when you do go into deep mud, I'd normally be looking at like a six and a half, seven, eight millimeter lug normally to get that grip and, and a shoe that's really designed to shed mud in particular. But so these have been really good going through muddy patches on runs and shedding the mud very quickly and all that. But just on one deep muddy ascent, like they did struggle to keep the grip, but that's not unexpected. It's actually very similar to the grip I've been getting from the Saucony Peregrine 13, which I've been testing at a similar time. They've got quite similar setups on the outsole there. And yeah, if you're in deep, deep mud for a while, you're gonna to start to lose a bit of purchase, but on everything else they've gripped well. That's, that's included wet and hard surfaces as well, like pavements and the odd little bit of rocky ground near me. And I've just had no concerns about the grip. It's very similar to the midsole in a way. It just does its job lets you carry on your run, you're not really thinking about your shoe too much. Cushioning isn't very extensive. It hasn't been uncomfortable for me, but I think I've only been up to probably an hour, hour and 10 minutes in the shoes and 
that's fine. I think if you're looking at the very long distances in these shoes, they're not the most cushioned option out there. I think that's less of a problem on the trails, in my opinion. I don't tend to love an overly cushioned shoe on the trails myself because trails provide a lot of the cushioning, but if lots of your trail running is on very hard ground and you're hitting like hard rocks you know, regularly, or you're probably gonna want a little bit more cushioning than there is on this shoe. It's not like the most forgiving or soft foam either. It's just, like I say, quite a stable, balanced foam. So yeah, looking at those very long trail runs, I'd be happy to go and do my 90 minute runs, two hour runs on the trails in them, but if you're regularly spending longer times than that on the trails, I think there are more cushioned options out there that would probably be better than this shoe. And then when you hit harder, more runnable trails, then, the shoe is more noticeable in what it lacks. Like the midsole doesn't give you a huge amount back. There's no plate or anything in here, stuff like that. The cushioning isn't noticeably bouncing you along or anything like that. And the four millimeter drop comes to play a bit more there. If I'm on quite flat stretches of trails, I will notice I get a bit more strain on my cars. Whereas I don't mind a low drop shoe on the trail when I'm on uneven ground. It provides a nice stable platform. I don't really, you know, you don't notice the drop so much if you're on jagged and uneven ground, that kind of thing. But if you do hit a long stretch, like a canal tow path, where you're running on fairly flat ground, you might start to pick up the pace. The shoe isn't fantastic for that. But then when I did do the session on um, you know, undulating ground, slightly muddy ground, I actually was surprised by how it was quite a far shoe. Like it's not that light, but for a trail shoe, it's reasonably light given it's you know, five millimeter lugs, but it just, again, just gets out of the way. Like I, went, I was doing, so four sets of three to one minutes on, I was just running to field, trying to hit you know, somewhere around 320k, 330k on uphill reps, you know, because it was long stretches where I was going uphill for most of the rep and then downhill for some of the reps where I'd wanna go even faster. And yeah, you can get really, you can really pick up the pace nicely on downhills in this shoe because the grip is reliable. You can pound down those hills knowing you're gonna get a little bit of bite into any muddy sections and loose sections. And then on uphills, it's not annoyingly weighty. It feels reasonably nimble um, and you can run fast up those as well. So I do think it's got that versatility there as well. If you wanna try and run some workouts on the trails, you're not really aiming for particular paces. You're running more to feel and trying to run hard downhills and keep your you know, turnover high uphills. It's a good enough shoe for that as well. All in all, it's been great for everything I've done this year. Like I said, I do have, I would have concerns about going particularly long in it just because there isn't the most cushioning there and there are slightly more exciting shoes for the trails, but for the most part, this is a shoe that fits very neatly into what I would want from a trail shoe, which is reliable grip, good stable platform, enough cushioning for most runs, and just generally gets out of the way and lets you enjoy the great outdoors. Overall, I really enjoyed using the Evedict MT Cushion 2. Uh, it could happily be my main trail shoe. Like uh, Most of the time, I'd only really need two trail shoes in my rotation. One is a shoe like this that can handle a bit of everything during relaxed training runs, and then a racer for very muddy conditions, whether that's spikes or you know a studded shoe when I do my cross-country season. Um, but So all year round, I think the shoe would work very well for me in the forest near me, and it's good value. It's comfortable enough, it can do the odd fartlet workout quite comfortably and also go reasonably long and that's a very good package for the price you're paying here. The ride might prove a little bit too firm for those who are nearly always on hard trails in particular and then if you are someone who's on the fells or regularly hitting mud you might want a bit more grip than this shoe provides, you want a more dedicated shoe with longer lugs but for those just looking for a general rounder trail shoe that's got a little bit of comfort, enough grip for everything, it does tick all the boxes. It's, it's quite similar to the Saucony Peregrine line in that regard, and I've been testing the Pe Peregrine 13 lately, but Peregrine has more cushioning, it's got slightly more exciting cushioning, it's more comfortable, it gives you a bit more back, and it's a fair bit lighter as well. But the, the MT Cushion 2 does do quite a similar job in lots of ways and for a lower price all round. Another shoe I think fits into this all rounder category for me is the Hoka Speedgoat 5, which is obviously pitched more as an ultra shoe, but actually is very good for any kind of trail run, I'd say. It's got a smoother, again, much more cushioned and comfortable ride than the uh, Evedict shoe, but again, you're paying a lot more for that shoe, and overall, unless, unless you're looking at those very long distances, I think the Evedict shoe will cover off most of what trail runners need. It's really, when you are looking at ultra distances, you're gonna look at the more comfortable shoes that maybe have a bit more bounce in them or a smoother ride, then those shoes are gonna prove a little bit more impressive and enjoyable to use regularly. So the price is definitely great and the durability is gonna be there as well. Like at the launch event of this, the, the Catalan did show us a load of really old and dirty shoes, the versions of this shoe that they sent out to their testers who'd all written testimonials and send them in as well. And despite being a bit dirty and obviously very broken in, the shoes really did stand up very well to a lot of runnings, that kind of thousand kilometer mark that the Catalan's trying to hit with lots of its shoes. And these can handle you know, a lot of running in hard conditions on the trails. And I think that's another big plus point in their favor. So overall, I'd say this is a really good option for lots of trail runs. It's someone like me, who's mainly a road runner, but is on the trails a couple of times a week, most doing easy runs, the odd workout, it ticks every box. It's, will grip well all year round in the kind of forest conditions I'm looking at around in the UK where it does get muddy even on the main trails at times but if you can handle that it's 
got a comfortable enough ride, got a balanced ride. It will hold up very well for lots of that kind of running. It's the kind of shoe you could buy for those you know, couple of runs a week and it will last you many months. And I think actually if you're a much more serious trail runner as well, it's always on the trails, it's on mountain trails. I think it's a shoe, still a shoe very much to consider because the grip is certainly there. It feels quite nimble on the foot. It's not too heavy. Uh, it runs probably a little bit lighter than it is. And the midsole does give you a good stable balanced platform that allows you to just go and do whatever your trail run is without necessarily impact on it, either in a positive way or a negative way. It's just kind of there, it protects the legs a little bit, good grip, and it will work for a lot of runners perfectly well to cover off all their trail running. So that is our review of the Evedix MT Cushion 2. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, it's a shoe you want to try out for your trail running. Please do like, subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.